tell us a bit about yourself. Where do you live? I live in um, the Bridges. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it very much. Uh -huh. And uh, Mick and Claire um, got it for me. And I was staying uh, with my mum and dad for eight. And then um, we started getting known the trust. Yeah. Then me phoned my dad up to see if we could go up and see if I like it and that. Mm -hmm. And I met Emily and um, all the rest of the staff and I liked it. Mm -hmm. I go there on Tuesdays for Arts and Crafts. So you go down to number 73, you know, you've heard us talk about number yeah. 73. And some people are neighbours of ours so know it quite well. Yeah. So, what's it like having your own flat? Really nice, it's quiet. Mm -hmm. No, a lot of it horrible. No uh, mum and dad nicking in that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Sue Livette, I'm from the Ordingbourne Trust. Hi, I'm Susan Harris from ATC. My name's Deb White. I'm to Warden Hall County Centre. Uh, I'm Sally Warren from Paradigm. I'm, I'm Catherine, I'm working with ACC. And the Insuring an Ordinary Life is a na well, network is a national network of people who are working together to look at what gets in the way of people with learning difficulties having ordinary lives like anybody else. So we have uh, people who have support in their lives, well, people with learning difficulties, we have family members, we have support workers and managers working together to look at what gets in the way, define what an ordinary life is, look at what good support is, and then act on actually making the good stuff happen. More act, often. have fun. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> That's it, have fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Me and Sue are actually facilitating the group, basically. Um, staying around the room, making sure we're doing the job properly. <laughs> making sure they do the work right and helping them if they need any help. Um, it's basically they're doing the work, we're not actually doing it all. <laughs> we're here just to help out. Teaching people, uh, the things we do to help people with learning disability, how important to develop to get a new job. Um, I'm just a worker, um, and while we're part of, of our community to help to teach and learn and challenge things and Think about new things and have fun, enjoy being here, and fun and just being in ABC. I come here this morning, come to see Sue, um, and then uh, Sue said to me there was a few people coming in. I asked her if I could do my Bassetty work with her to tell all the people here what I do in my spare time. And Susan told us this morning, we have it on film, she told us about your role as an ambassador, didn't you? Yes. And it's such a great idea, I think, people are out there telling other people what it's like to be really involved and giving people an idea of how things could be for everybody. No, so we've got I, that on yeah. film, we can share that across the country. So no, we have Susan think, on uh, film uh, sharing that. I think the important, uh, let, let other people know, is around the world, uh, uh, but in, yes. uh, international, uh, yeah. what people do in the community. <laughs> yeah. I am an ambassador so and when I went to 73 I was working in arts and crafts and uh, Mick Cooper and Jeff what Jeff's last name is well anyway they came and got me and asked me if they if I would like to do a ambassador and I said yes please. What does an ambassador do? Well I do um just say about housing and that. The same thing. So you went to talk to a group to tell them about what Audubon does, but particularly about how you live independently yes. and how good that is. How good that is for somebody. And some, I'm not going to but some old lady. She was really lovely. She came out. She said to me, "Excuse me, Susan." So I said, "Yes." She said, "You should be doing autographs." 
So I said, why do you want one? She goes, yes, please. I said, give us that. <laughs> <laughs> but be quiet, don't tell no one else. <laughs> um, one of the ideas for ambassadors, because we've got ambassadors on housing, um, voluntary work, paid work. It came out when we opened number 73. And um, we had about 150 people there during the day. Yeah. And I asked Susan whether she'd mind just saying a few words, and uh, she did, and she did it absolutely brilliantly. And then afterwards, she came and hunted me down, and she said, right, do you want the good news or the bad news? I said, oh, I don't know. Um, she said, right, um, the good news is I'll do it again, but the bad news is you need to pay me. <laughs> and uh, so that kind of formed the idea, and... Yeah, so people with experience of, you know, life and, um, as we said about housing, employment, voluntary work, we want them to tell their story and um, to particularly to tell other people, particularly with learning disabilities. We get invited to loads and loads of talks and we have the Flower Group and the Women's Institute and Probus and everything else and it's much better for somebody that's got the experience of those services to be there to answer questions and first, tell it how it is. Firstly, that when we went to go and see Mick Cooper, he was talking about it and everything, and then <coughs> I went down. From Melanie, she used to do, she does every Thursday evenings uh, a social evening, and then through Claire Sparrow, um, Mick Cooper, those are the two people who actually got me the house. Yeah. And it's going all right. Yep. Yep. Weekends I'll go to mums and dads. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Lovely. Thank you very much. So thank you to Susan and Martin. <laughs>